Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm tired, okay? Let's start now, okay? We are having cod. I know it's not vegan. Trust the process. We have some sauteed green beans and some roasted potatoes. And our wine of choice tonight is a very special French Schwanda. It's from the hills of wherever this is made. Child. Anyways, <laughs> let's get a little ASMR. I probably should have put it. Get you a little closer. Here you go. <laughs> fancy. It's quite fancy tonight. My child is ruining everything. Since I don't drink wine, you know what it is. Anyways. So we are having a lemon caper garlicky cod. This is my first time cooking cod, so y'all pray for me, okay? I'm scared. Mmm, okay. Okay. Why well, cod taste like crab? A little bit. Why do you like crab a little bit? That's good, y'all. Did I make a video of me cooking it? Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. If y'all don't like capers, just leave them off. But I love a good caper. You see how flaky this fish is? It's like... It's meaty and it low key have a crap. Yes, to it. A crabness. Mmm. <laughs> it's, it's super fans. One more Mmm. Mmm. It's real life, they know. Can you hand me the seasonings? I always do this. I leave it over there every time. Both of them, you. I got some arriving on Tuesday. Um. Well. <laughs> anyways, um. The herb, garlic, herb, lemon, pepper was featured in this cod recipe i'm gonna talk about it in a minute and my veggies was done with the all per multi-purpose <laughs> so i got a new batch coming on tuesday i already tracked the order don't worry about it so how y'all doing today Whatever day this come out, cause I don't know. <laughs> mm. Now, in this recipe, it called for wine or lemon juice. I did lemon juice because I don't drink wine and ain't no purpose on buying no wine if I ain't gonna drink it. It also caught the seasoning the fish with just a little salt and pepper. We don't do that here. <laughs> we do this here. <laughs> okay, because listen, I I use recipes as a, a jumping off point. I just need to know the temperature, approximately what's in it. 
and how much time I need to cook it. Man, these potatoes is good. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> mm. We are still on our vegan slash pescatarian journey. Ergo, the fish. We were at Sam's and saw this cod, and I was like, I want to do a capers, lemon capers sauce. Did you taste it? I taste it on my finger. I'm talking about the fish itself. Yeah, I taste the sauce. Sauce good. And only because I added this. Because it would have been bland without that. <laughs> I mean, the garlic, you know, the garlic can be garlic, but garlic can only do so much, y'all. Yeah. You need the herb. Look at all the herb. Michelin star restaurants that season food. Yeah, let's so do that. Know, you know, like yeah. Michelin star at home. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With our finest wine. Fanta. Cheers. And that regular gator's cup. Uh, no offense, Crafty Leo. Quite literally, though. It's really horrible. Mmm, fancy Fanta. It's fancy when you drink it out of a wine glass or a goblet. Might I have some more, darling? You shall. Thank you, darling. You're so fancy. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, the reason why I keep using this accent is because y'all sound the title. We're going to talk about the strays in a minute. Hold on. If you haven't seen it and you want to see it, you might want to click off and come back. Mm. It, got a, it do got like a crab flavor, don't it? I have fish. Mm. Is that a fish though? I don't know. I don't oh, know. Good. It's good though. Mm. We need to eat more cod. We do. And I so meant to. Yeah. Let me look up the nutrition facts and see if it's even got any nutrition and value, y'all. We are gonna talk about the movie. Mm -hmm. Down to the Googler. And mm. paired with this wine. Paired with the wine is everything, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Phew. That wine is this everything. This is more champagne, though. It's champagne. Because we got that bud. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll find the nutrition stuff in because all they give me right now is a bunch of recipes and my baby over here burning her mouth off. Anyway. So, strays. Now that y'all had time to click off. Mom, you was going to find you were fish too fat. You do put <laughs> She put pie fish in the <laughs> What that going to do? What about the coffee? Because I'm trying to do a video <coughs> down to the YouTube streets. Don't worry about it. Anyway. So, strays, y'all. Mm. My girl today. The movie starts out with this young lady basically having a meltdown and wanting her better life she's upset about the life she's in she looks like she might be in the ghetto in the hood wherever she at here comes my sister with these feet mm. Who is her? it's got good stuff here only two percent fat mm-hmm Protein, 82%. 82%. They got all the vitamins, calcium, iron, magnesium. Yes. So, 
Yeah, it's good. It's good for you. They said it's uh, sodium in there, but. Well, I mean, it's it come from the, from the ocean. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's from the earth. Mm. So. That's to be expected, but it's not salty. And especially because I didn't do overdo it on the seasoning. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. It's good. This is good. It's been a long time since I had card. Oh my god. Anyway, focus. Focus. I gotta focus. You stop. I've got ADHD. Anyway. So the lady basically is getting phone calls. People tell her how to pick up the phone. She packs up a bag and she disappears. Now, it's not clear in the beginning what's wrong with this lady, but she want her, she want a better life, and people not giving it to her. So anyway, she goes and starts this new life in another town. It's like they're in London somewhere. They over there, over the pond, and she has. It looked like she taking pills to lighten her skin. She was already pretty fair, but it it looks like she was taking pills to make herself lighter. She had an array of wigs that were straight, you know, and trying to pass for white, okay? She done moved to the snooty to do neighborhood. She done married this white guy. But you can clearly see that her kids are mixed. Because the son got a little, little afroness to his hair his her daughter got a little curl to her hair but as you can tell that they are mixed now she never outright says that she's trying to pass but you can tell and she's she has adapted to her new society and she is the vice head mistress at this school and she has this whole persona going on. Well, you see this young man coming to the school. He a janitor, dark skin, and she starts freaking out. The dark skin man is talking to her son and she was feeling some type of way about it. And she was telling him to get to class because it was time to go to class, but she low-key recognized this dude. Later on, we see another young lady. No. There was a part where the, the, son, the husband said, I hired this black girl today. And it was weird how he said it. And so the kids was like, what's the big deal about her being black? We black. <laughs> like, why you had to put the emphasis on the black part? Where you can just say I hired a girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that was a little suspect. But, and the lady was getting nervous and having a panic attack because she was like, a black girl? Like, who, where is she from? Da da da, you know, and getting all panicky. So later we learned, I'm going to fast forward through this because I ain't going to keep y'all here all day because this movie was trash. Later on, the little girl, her, her her daughter comes to the, she dropped her daughter off to her friend house, she thought. We find out later she was actually meeting up with that same black girl. And the black girl braided her hair, did her some straight back. <laughs> So when she came home, her mom was like, who, who did that to your hair? <laughs> she was upset. And she was like, oh, my friend did it, blah, blah, blah. She was like, 
oh okay but in the in the back of her mind she like what hood you went to because all your friends is white how come for you got straight back to your hair she was upset because she did not want her kids to come off ethnic So, she tried to get the uh, janitor guy fired for giving her son a cigarette. And she, he was like, he, she said, I know he did it. And they was like, do you have proof? And we don't want to discriminate against him and, or come off like we're discriminating against him because he's black. And she was frustrated because she was like, I know this boy, I know this boy. Well, the daughter, the mixed daughter, invited the two new characters to this function, this gala they were having at their house. And when they showed up, we've come to realize that this was her children that she had abandoned in her previous life. Baby, the dookie hit the fan. The people is out there acting a stone fool. The daughter was yelling and screaming. The second daughter, you know, the original daughter, <laughs> was screaming and yelling and calling her mom, 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 <laughs> showing out. So she agreed to meet these people. I got a restaurante and talk it out. She gonna give these people twenty thousand dollars in the check. Come on, to start their new life somewhere. She said, "I gave you to my sister," and she said, "Your sister didn't want us either." She put us out. We've been bouncing from house to house. So the people took the money, but yet at the same time. They was pissed. So, they fast forward. She thinks she, she done cleared up the situation. Child of people done broke up in her house in the middle of the night. Now, this part right here would never happen to me. Because I don't care how much noise going on in the house. I'm not putting no earplugs in. So, the mama had earplugs in her ear while she was asleep. It wasn't... They... If her husband was snoring loud, I would see why. But homegirl had earplugs in her ear care. The man coming down, he coming. The son, the oldest son, comes in the room, steals everybody's phone, put them in the kitchen sink. Puts them in the kitchen sink, turns on the water. The daughter, the oldest daughter, it's her birthday, so she wants to celebrate. She got on a birthday hat. She up there celebrating and turning on the the TV. They doing all this stuff. The other son comes downstairs and was like, them downstairs. He ain't say that. But. <laughs> <laughs> they down there. Child, come on. Mama, ma, mama, they down here. So they got the water running over the sink. He done flooded the phone. The husband come down. He's like, what is this? What is happening? And he was like, this is our, basically, this is my mama. She left us. This is what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. The husband said, I want a divorce. He says, I want a divorce. Wow. I mean, quick. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. I ain't with this shenanigans. Child. The oldest said, let's go back here, Mr. E. Mm -mm. Yeah. 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 Because he didn't want them. No. No, he just didn't want her junk. Because she was lying to him this whole time. And she was like, I didn't know how to explain to you I had kids. And he was like, I want a divorce. You lied to me. Like, you could have, you didn't even give me a chance to accept it. And and she had left him like 15, wait, it was more than 15 years because the kids was like teenagers anyway. And the other kids was grown. So he was like, I'm out. So the oldest dude was like, uh-uh, come on in. Let's go in here and have a man-to-man -man talk. 
they go in there and he makes him he puts all these weights on the weight bar you know the little deadlift bar mm -hmm. and he was like let me see you lift this thing you know so the man he had a machete and he was sitting there like this shaking shaking <laughs> Mm -hmm. insert blue face yeah <laughs> yeah and the thing they all you hear is Ugh, and it, the bar fell on the man's neck and he was gone so now ian did that's the husband ian did and i listen because he said you ain't gonna get out of here that easy that's what he said now now i forgot they was like, we want some Chinese food. I want some Singapore noodles and all this stuff. They was naming off all the stuff they wanted, right? <laughs> they ordered Uber Eats in the middle of the night. <laughs> the, 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 dude, the dude come to the door. <laughs> this, is, this movie was trash, y'all. <laughs> the dude come to the door. She said, oh, hold on one minute. Let me get a tip for you. And then he was, she came in there. And she was like, honey, do you remember where I put my purse? And the son was like, the youngest son was like, oh, mom, I think it's upstairs. Homegirl went upstairs, Carrie. She passed by the dead man with the bell on his neck. They don't never show it now. But, you know, use your imagination. Walks past him with a dead face. Walks upstairs, gets her purse, her little wallet thing, and a jacket. <laughs> The kids ain't paying attention because they playing Scrabble. Mind you, the whole kitchen is flooded. The the living room, the dining room is like a step down dining room. So the whole floor is flooded. It's water everywhere. She walks past them. They ain't paying attention. Homegirl got her jacket and her wallet and went to the door. Walked out the door. You heard the little motor scooter, because it wasn't no motorcycle. It was a little scooter, a little meet me, a little meet me. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> you heard that thing. Fire up. <laughs> like she said, if they would have blew the horn, I would have lost my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't even hear the man say, hey. Like, so... I'm assuming she got on the mic with the man and left. Because you don't even hear him protesting or none of that stuff, right? So, the end. This is basically the end of the movie, y'all. She leaves. Now you got two light skins and two dark skinned kids standing in. Oh, Jesus. Standing in the puddle of water. With they dead stepdaddy and daddy in the other room. Credits. That's the end of the movie. Carol, the girl miniature muck face. <laughs> Don't you ever in life recommend that movie to me ever again. That movie was garbage. I still don't know. What's the pro like what's the premise? The premise of the movie is she was trying to escape her ghetto life. Have a better life with her light bright kids and her white husband and her prestige at the school. And she was like taking her little light skin pills, whatever was making her skin lighter. Because she wasn't super dark in the beginning, but she had more hue in the beginning. And over time, she was whitening up and she was using makeup and stuff to make herself look bright and she was very, you know, perturbed, perturbed. Oh, so one thing I did, the one thing that don't make sense anyway is because even if you get with a white man, genetics ain't always going to be <laughs> all on, on, on his side. Baby. <laughs> they for to be darkest, darkest, darkest night. Yeah. And you, and you for to be looking around like, what is who the path? Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because them jeans be jeaning. Because, listen, when my kids first got here, my husband was looking at me side eye because they was white as snow. But I came out white as snow and, hey, she not white no more. <laughs> anyway. Mars. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so the moral of the story is stop trying to be something you ain't. Stop. 
Stop it. And also, don't leave your kids like that. Now that you get the title, strays, because now you got four babies. You done abandoned two, and now you done abandoned the other two, and they stuck in this house with a bunch of flooded house. It, and she just peeled out, and that was the end of the movie. I don't know who directed, wrote, and did this movie. Mm -mm. It was on Netflix. It was on Netflix. Shouldn't know. It was true. It's, it's Carol fault. It's giving to me. It ain't giving it's Netflix. It's child. This giving <laughs> lifetime. It wasn't. It. And I was like, I'm trying to remember how it was listed, or if it was listed as a drama thriller. Or what it was. It was trash. It should have been listed as trash. <laughs> and I don't give things thumbs down that much on Netflix. But this one. They could have kept that. Could have kept that. Could have kept it. So anyways y'all. That's why people cancel with Netflix. Because <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> like yo. Ain't on my beef, So I'm good. So if you choose to go watch Stray's. Of course, I love out a lot of the stuff, but you get the juice of the movie, chill. <laughs> it was not great, but this meal was, you can see, all I got on here is a little bit of garlic, and I'm about to go get me another piece of fish, because that was fire. Anyway, I love y'all. Yes, if good. Listen, hold on, wait, 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 wait. My baby. If you're new to my channel, I'm official, Jamie. Mm. <laughs> That's dark and lovely, mm. a.k.a. Another the daughter from another mother daughter podcast. That's my other channel. That's our other channel. Oh, okay. Gone, gone, and podcast it, coming soon. Yes, we've been doing once a month. We've been very consistent. That's consistent. Yeah, enough. It is. The girls want more, but the girls do the want girls. more. But I need y'all to share it out so we can have more subscribers. Right, because right. the subscribes is not subscribing right now. I need y'all to, you know, match the energy. Shout over out now. to the fifty some people over there. I love y'all. Y'all the OGs. The OG triple O cheese. Okay. So I'm official, J Man. My rider dies. Y'all know what it is. If y'all don't have not i don't know why if you have not gone and get your seasoning i don't know what you're doing listen i'm about to see how much it costs to send some to africa chair because my fam needs some of this right now for real for real after you dreaming i got you don't worry about it i'm gonna find out how much it costs to ship it over there anyways go check out simply case simone Simply Spice and Spice website. It's going to be in the description. Use code VIP to get you some coins off. Mm. Right. Anyway. <laughs> also check out her channels because they're fire. She has multiple channels. And follow her on TikTok and Instagram as well. So you'll know when she has sales and whatnot. And don't worry, I got some coming. It'll be here Tuesday. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Ain't nothing you can do about it. See you on the next video. Bye.